Hi, and welcome back to Life in Every Season. I hope you're having a good weekend. Today, Bruce is going to show you how he's going to continue to make our Rubbermaid garden cart go another 20 years. Yes, we've had this for 20, and it's still in really good shape. And he will be replacing the tires and inner tubes. And I hope you guys get a lot of information out of that. And I'm going to let him get to it now. Okay, we are going to replace the tires and the tubes. Um, we'll do just do one side. Um, no reason to uh, do both. I do not like getting a knife out to open inner tubes. That does not seem like a good idea. So, I bought the tubes with the slime in them. Uh, I've tried them on a mountain bike. They're a little heavier. Um, but you've already got the ceiling stuck in them. Um, you can feel it's a little gooey. So we're going to take the cap off. All right. Now we're going to put the tube in. Go ahead and put the valve up through it. I'll put the cap to hold, help hold it on until we get the tire on. to gently work just taking little nibbles on this tire to get it to fall in looking as best I can to not pinch the tube and this cart, we had let our daughter have it, and then she didn't have room for it, and it came back to us, so they had been using it without, they had let the uh, tubes, um, the inner tubes had holes in them, and they didn't fix it, so they were literally just running the tire, the tires were just protecting the rims, so this ought to be a lot better, so... That's the process, just uh, little bites when you're putting it in, and then I'll pump it up, and we'll have this side done. So that's the process. Um, I also found, I guess this would be the legs on a regular wheel, but there's six bolts that attach it, and two are missing. So I uh, scrounged up two more bolts and put that in. We have got the tire installed, it's inflated. I'll put a gauge on it here in a little bit. Looking around, it looks like it's all, there's a little line here. I'm just making sure it's pushed all the way out, all the way around. Looks good. So we'll find the cap. And this is it. Um, I hope if you've got one of these garden carts that this helps, you can, uh, you can get most of the tire on with your fingers. What I don't like is the way they package tires now, which was different than when I was a kid. Um, they bundle them all up and see how they come out so wide that's can you see it that way see how wide that is mm -hmm. this tire they should be when it's done we see what it's like it's a lot thinner so you just got to work that in with your fingers pushing the tube uh, so it doesn't come on the outside and get pinched by the tires you're putting it in and like say as you're using a screwdriver just take little bites don't try to do you know do it here and then go all the way up here because it's too big a bite. Uh, the little ones work better. Well, now you guys know how to fix a 20-year-old Rubbermaid garden cart. Um, hopefully we can get 20 more years out of it. Um, looks like you did a great job. We still got one more to do. But I hope this information was helpful to you. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and thanks so much for stopping by Life in Every Season.